Dean, it's becoming a familiar pattern, another Friday, another complete performance. Very complete performance, um, just very happy to get over the line against Surrey. Very strong side and um, no, we did really well tonight. We'll talk about the team performance later, but a personal milestone for you, what did it feel like to take that 100th wicket? Very humbling, um, and obviously the first player to ever take T20, 100 wickets for Glamorgan. Very honoured and nice words from Robert Croft, who I bowled a lot with during T20, my, my T20 career, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, just happy to get over the line and um, take those two important wickets out of Anzari and Bravo at a dangerous time, so that was important. You'd have had a moment in the dressing room with the players, with Crofty, what was said? Just really positive, you know, we're just enjoying um, playing really good competitive cricket at the moment, playing with a smile on our faces and just really embracing what 2020 is all about. It's natural for a sportsman to talk about the, the long game and there's, there's a long way to go in the group, but four points clear, a four point cushion away from those others chasing quarterfinal spot. Um, it's time to think about it, isn't it? We're, uh, we're, we're almost there. Almost, but you know, as you know, sport has got a funny way of biting you in the backside, so you just got to keep your eyes on the prize. You know, every game as an individual sort of um, momentous occasion, and you know, we just got to keep on focusing on the next game. That's all it is, especially in this kind of knockout stage now. Other bowlers to credit to tonight, and we're going to say farewell to Dale Stein. No, he's been absolutely superb throughout the whole of the competition for us. You know, the stuff that he's been saying in the change room has been, you know, it really resonates with the young bowlers. Um, but just to have him in the change room, it's been an honour to play with him. Obviously, one of the world greats ever. So it's, you know, it's really important that we take all the experiences that he has and really take him on board moving further into the competition. Captain's knock from Shaq. He played a, a mature innings, a professional innings and, and got the job done. Yeah, credit to the experienced South Africans at the top of the order, you know, Jack Rudolph and Colin Ingram, they played really well. And it was perfect, it was nicely suited to his game as well, just knocking it around, you know, we didn't have to take any risks, but they, you know, it was very clinical from them tonight, which is very important moving forward in the competition. What about the home crowd, very responsive tonight, they're backing you. Yeah, no, um, yeah, the home support is always very good. Um, hopefully, you know, we can get a few more through the gates for, for, for the later stage of the competition, but... You know, the, the Welsh crowd are always in fine fettle, so um, hopefully long may that continue. 11 from 7, what's the points target? Um, sorry to be a little bit ignorant, but I haven't looked at the points table, <laughs> to be honest. Um, as I said before, I'm just keeping, you know, we're all keeping just winning the next game, winning the next game, and so on, um, until we hopefully get to the quarter-final, then we'll reassess. You've cruised past 100 wickets. What about the, the personal target now? What would represent success for you this season? Staying in the team, staying fit, because there's only so many times I can throw myself around at Packwood Point now. My hands are getting peppered. When I land, my bones ache, but that's what it's all about, you know. Um, but no, I'm just enjoying it and, you know, just keep on getting picked for the T20 side. And, um, yeah, just really enjoying it, playing with a smile on my face. Well played tonight. Thank you, Michael.